Hi everyone, welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. I'm Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. How is everybody's week going? Ours has been um, short. Yeah, and, kind of a whirlwind. Yeah. Had the long weekend at Fort Bragg last week. Uh, now we're starting our uh, prep for uh, Orlando. We're leaving tomorrow for Orlando, Florida for a few days. So, so we're uh, I'm prepping some snacks for us to uh, take with us. So uh, yeah, we thought we would jump on here and show you guys some of the snacks that we do for keto on the go that helps to keep us um, accountable as we're traveling. Because you know how sometimes you're at the airport and you see like a bag of chips or something like that. Um, or on the airplane, they walk down the aisle with all those goodies that yep. you shouldn't have. Yeah, so. Cookies and pretzels and all kinds of stuff that eh, yeah. she really shouldn't have. So we make sure we take enough snacks for us uh, for the round trip so that we can, uh, we'll have snacks when we get back as well. And, and the, even in the hotel room sometimes it's nice uh -huh. to have something to wear. If the late night munchie, you're going for something that's good for you um, and keeps you, like I said, accountable. So as you guys are coming on, please say hello um, and let us know where you are watching from. If you are catching a replay, hashtag replay. We're coming to you live from cool California, Northern California town. We had a beautiful day today. Yeah. Um, we're going to uh, start with a couple of things here that uh, we will have recipes for. Um, we will... Uh, you guys are new. Yeah, if you're new, drop new in the uh, thing so we can welcome you. You can uh, follow us so that we, you get uh, all of our uh, recipes. Yes. Um, share this out too, you guys. Share it out. So that, for some uh, reason we're crooked here. I'm going to straighten you a little. There you go. <laughs> I feel like the camera is kind of crooked today. That's all right. Okay, so we're So gonna I'm going to start with some uh, cheese crackers. Um, we, uh, we bought a, uh, a variety pack of all pre-sliced hard cheeses. Um, and I'm going to put these uh, on, a, uh, on a cookie sheet that's uh, lined with parchment paper. And we're going to bake this for 10, 7 to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. This is going to uh, flatten them out. And they'll, you want to watch them when you put them in the oven because they will, um, they'll start to curl. They're going to, they're going to bake pretty quick. Um, and then you, you want to see it as, as the edges start to brown and, and turn up a little bit. They're getting crispy and you want to take them out. You have to watch them carefully because if you let it go an extra minute, you've just burned them. So, um, We're speaking from experience. Yes. <laughs> the first time we definitely. tried this. So I'm uh, going to lay these out. And I've, I've got some in the oven right now. So we're going to go through some other things. And uh, you'll see them as they come out. When they come out of the oven, you want to uh, take them off. You can just slide this parchment paper off of the uh, cookie sheet so that they stop cooking. Um, I'm, we're real fortunate. We've got a stone... Uh, countertops here that stays very cool so it cools them down very nicely um, but you want to make sure they're good and cool before you go and break them up and then you can just put them in a baggie and and you've got potato chips potato chips <laughs> that, that, that's what i call are them really tasty they um, are they're just like a potato chip this uh this variety pack has uh, aged cheddar it has uh french swiss uh which doesn't make any sense to me but whatever. Um, yeah, it, we just grabbed it at um, Costco. Oh, sorry. I was trying to read that. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking it away. Uh, we've got some Havarti cheese and we've got some Gouda. Uh, so the Gouda and the Havarti guys. are really, really good. That's covering my face. <laughs> yeah. I just figured I'd show you guys. This is, we just picked this up at Costco. It's yeah. really a good variety pack. We yeah. just turn it into potato chips. So, we're going to leave that set aside while the other ones are cooking here. Thank you guys for And we'll for give you some you. other uh, things that we yeah. make and, and uh, things that we, uh, yeah. that we yes. buy. Thank you guys for saying hello as you're coming on. So another one that we like to take is... This is really good. Um, cinnamon twist. This is, these are um, pork rind cinnamon twists. Um, very easy to make. You just get a bag of pork rinds and throw them in a baggie. You uh, mix some uh, cinnamon. Uh, we use we use a, a Saigon cinnamon that we get at Costco that's got incredibly good flavor. 
Um, you mix that up with some swerve sweetener. Uh, you melt some butter, put it in there, shake the butter in first, and then pour your sugar or your uh, uh, cinnamon and, and sweetener mixture and shake it all up and then it's ready to go. Yeah, that um, one's really good. If you guys want the recipe or want to, um, to get me to tag you in the live on that, if you didn't get all of that, um, drop twist in the comments. Yeah, and if you put you twist, you I will um, get you that recipe. Some of the other things that we found that we really like, you guys, are the Emmy's cook, um, cookies. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. They are really good. It's one cookie is 100 calories. I know people are like, oh, wow. But 70 of it is from fat. So it is a great, like, protein pick-me-up. And it comes in all different kinds Quite of variety. flavors. There's, yeah. like, the lemon ginger, um, the chocolate chip. There's a peanut butter. There's yeah. a, a, a dark cacao there's a vanilla yes there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of different these are flavors in here really good like i said and it satisfies your sweet tooth um for like a cookie and then it gives you tons and tons of energy it really does because it's just a quick energy thing the other thing that we really really like i will do this for lunch on the airplane when i come over here so you guys can do this um knock out the carb bars so these are really good it's a meal replacement and um, these are just absolutely amazing too. So you guys look these up. This is another thing that we take on the airplane. Thank you guys for saying hello too as you are dropping on. We appreciate it. Hi Renee, hi Shannon. And then we've got some uh, smoked beef sticks. These are uh, Sogo snacks. Um, it's grass fed beef. It's got uh, very low uh, calories and, and really good flavor. So we use those to, to get a little meat into the diet I had that, while we're traveling. I had that for lunch today, and I do not like um, beef sticks at all. And these have like a nice tang and not a lot of grease. So these are really, really good. And then we take a wide variety of nuts so that we don't uh, we don't burn out on one kind of nut. Um, we've got the uh, macadamia nuts, which are really good. Um, we've got raw Brazil nuts, which are one of the lowest. Uh, in carbs, um, and I, I love Brazil nuts, so those are a big treat uh, for me. Sea salt, pecans. We've got some pecans. So just, I think the key is just like with the meal prep, it's just a key to having things easy and quick to what grab, um, you know, to where you don't, yeah, to where you don't go for the potato chips in the vending machines or the cookies or the things like that. Um, like I said, the cheese chips that he makes, these are just like potato chips. I love to put them in there with like my tuna and stuff. Um, they're really good. See a lot of new people jumping on you guys. Say hello as you're coming on and let us know where you're watching from. Or if having a problem with this timer. Um, let us know where you guys are watching from. Also send us a friend request if you guys are new and follow us. Um, for our, all of you who dropped the recipe, one of the twist recipe, I will tag you guys in that video. But if you want more recipes, drop recipe in the comment and we'll get you in our secret recipe group. Um, we've like, got a lot of recipes that we've done videos on that are really good. Not just for snacks, um, we've done breakfast uh, things, we've done lunch, dinner things. Um, so yeah, it, we've got a lot of videos you can get some benefit out of, I exactly. believe. Exactly, I'm trying to read the comments. Hi, Tammy, I'm glad you finally caught us live. That's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Elba. Thank you guys all for jumping on. Um, like I said, we just are going over some of the tips that we use to be prepared whenever we travel. We are leaving for Florida tomorrow. And it's just, when you get on the airplane or in the airport or anything, it seems like everything, it's just an impulse to grab for something and if you have stuff already prepared that's really easy like this, somebody asked how long these last, the potato chips. They last quite a while. Yeah. Um, at least a week. Yeah, exactly. And then the cinnamon twist, that is like my thing because it, I get such a sweet tooth late at night and not having my fat bombs. So um, Mark is going over the potato chips now, or I call them potato chips. So yeah, I put them in there for uh, 10 minutes so far. And then I check them every minute after that. Um, this, these, I've got two trays in there, so it takes a little bit longer. Um, I've probably cooked these for about 13 minutes before I take them out, um, just so that they get the edges a little, uh, a little brown and crispy. 
um, but not burning them. Yeah, so he'll show you. It'll be just a few, couple of a minute or two. What to do? So and just then uh, take them out. So to go over one more time, you guys, so you can see some of the ones. Um, this one here is the Sogo, and this one is grass fed. It's all no MSGs, no nitrates. And I believe really good. it's really, really good for you. So this is a good one to have with you. And also the cookies. If anybody has not heard of the Emmy's cookies, these are amazing. Like I said, it curves your sweet tooth, just like the fat bombs, but they're on the go. Um, you got 100 calories and 70 of it are fat. And to me, it's like an energy pick-me-up during the day. I'll have one of these after lunch. You know, you have your sandwich or something, you're kind of craving something a little bit sweet. This is amazing. So look these up too. And I'm going to get out of his way because he has his trays. Thank you so, guys for saying hello. How do you keep them from going soft? The cheese strips, they, they stay hard. They, well, yeah, they stay fairly hard. We um, keep them in like little containers. That keep helps. Keep them in a container, yeah. So these are just going to come off of here and they're just going to set on the counter until they completely cool because some of them have melted together. Um, but you can see that they're, these are really hot. <laughs> um, also, when I put them in a baggie, put a uh, paper towel in there, because there is a lot of grease that comes out of them. Um, and that helps just soak up the excess grease so that they're not too bad. I mean, but then when they come out, they're really these good. are, yeah, these, these are a little chewy. They didn't, I didn't cook these quite long enough. But the flavor is still wonderful, and you can you can still use them in a dip. You could uh, dip them in cream cheese and uh, everything bagel seasoning mm -hmm. mixed together. It makes a really nice dip. It's low calorie, um, and it's they're very tasty. All of the different flavors. Um, exactly. I like to cook them all so that we have a, a variety. So it's like you've got four different bags of chips in one. Yep, so it's pretty easy. Like I said, just pick up a variety pack at Costco and then you just bake them. Um, Mark will put, I think, the temperature and how long. You have yep. to kind of watch them every minute, like he said, because one minute over and they are going to burn. Um, and then just pick up, you know, like I said, the easy things. Curve your sweet, get your, like, extra protein with your meat and your nuts. Do your macadamia nuts, your Brazil nuts. And the one other thing, that, like I said, is our, um, Mark, what's the oven temperature? Oh, 400. I 400 remember that. degrees for 7 to 10 minutes, and then monitor them along the way uh, as they get to, uh, yesterday, when I did the ones yesterday, I started at 7 minutes and monitored every minute. Uh, because I had two trays in there, mm -hmm. I think it took a little bit longer. So today I cooked them at 12 minutes and then checked and ran them another 2 minutes. So. And it's everybody's oven is different, so yours may be hotter or a little cooler, may take a little bit longer. Yep, and then you guys, like I said, also the knock out the carb bars. These are really good Amazon things too. So if you guys got value from this, share it, share it out. out. We really appreciate it. Whenever you guys share things out, sharing is caring. Also, if you're new, make sure you drop new so we can say hello. And friend, send us a friend request or follow us. And to follow us, you just have to touch my nose. And it'll be right up at the right-hand corner. You can touch the dots and you can hit follow. So we appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for jumping on Meat Stick from where? Oh, I got those off so of um, yeah. Amazon also. And I can put them in the comments, but it's just the Sogo. Sogo um, Snacks. Sogo Snacks, and it's the original grass-fed smoked beef stick. This thing is so pure, you guys. And it's 100 calories. It's amazing. Like I said, I don't like um, beef sticks. They're kind of greasy and ugh, this was not. It had a nice flavor and it just, it was really good. I've had this today. So grab them on Amazon. And if you guys have questions, just message us. We'll, sure. get, you an we'll get it answered for you. So we are off because we still haven't packed and we leave for Florida in the morning. So we're going to go pack. No, she hasn't packed. Okay, I haven't packed. So, so I'm going to go pack and he's going to finish cooking. We will see you guys all soon. We'll see you in Florida. Uh, love and appreciate you. Have a good evening. Bye.